I'm not dead yet. I'll admit, I regret not curing my radiation sickness before I left. It made leaving the country difficult. I cashed in a few favors, took one too many off the book flights in rusted up buckets, but I made it back to Valverde. The area was on lockdown, sealed by American intelligence for study. The complex centered on a crater from the alien self-destruction. I found the scientists slumming in a local bar. A few drinks, a couple of threats later, he was ready to talk. It wasn't much, barely anything I didn't already know. The blast emitted a form of radiation they'd never seen before. Some believed it was extraterrestrial, some didn't. Either they're not too bright or there's nothing to find. I decided to let them keep searching in vain. It kept them busy and off my trail. I've been touring villages and small towns using the cover of an author writing about South American folklore. I don't know if any of them bought in, but they took my money and told the stories. The closer they were to the jungle, the more stories of devils in the trees. Some were bullshit, made up on the spot, but some carried consistencies that I couldn't ignore. Whatever it was, the demons who make trophies of man, the devil of the trees, or the skull taker, the stories always began on the hardest summer that they could remember. In the summer of 1987, Valverde, Valley broke its all-time high in temperatures. They love the heat. It must remind them of home. Everything else confirmed the truth of the stories. Proud warriors skinned and hanged. Skulls and spines ripped from their bodies. Maybe it was obvious from the beginning, but it wasn't until I heard the stories that I truly accepted the purpose of these mutilations. I mean, they're taking trophies. They travel impassable distances to hunt us, skin us, and mount us over some alien fireplace on another world. It would be disgusting if it weren't so familiar. Where do I go now? It's been on my mind all year. The takeaway from all this intel is that they've been doing this for decades, centuries maybe. They're coming back, and I need to be there when they do. Know how long this is going to take? Hang, hang tight, hang tight. We just got to get this thing recording. I'm a foreign national being held unlawfully. You have no jurisdiction. Look, look, okay, you were right. Legally speaking, we had no right to enter Mexican airspace, no right to confiscate exotic materials, and no right to detain you. This is a black site. Yes, ma'am. United States. It could be Canada. Climate's wrong, and your accents. Smart. <laughs> well, Miss Nissenbaum. Sergeant Major. Sergeant Major Isabel Abigail Nissenbaum. Numerous commendations, though no mention of total confirmed kills, which I'm guessing is rather high. It is. But then there's this last note. Current status, absent without leave. Now, why would someone with an impressive service record decide to go AWOL? I was taken. Taken? Abducted. Mm-hmm. That little buggy you landed proves as much. Sergeant Major, I believe you've had contact with an aggressive alien civilization, one whose culture is deeply saturated in the ritual hunting of other intelligent species? Like in Guatemala. Well, we're aware of the Valverde incident. I'm surprised you are. Word gets around. Word of alien manhunters wiping out special ops in the jungle gets around? Unlikely. I'm guessing you're a wet work type. Assassins tend to have unsavory friends with classified intel. I wouldn't know. 
Sergeant Isabel, look, look, we already have the ship. The only thing I want from you is your story. After that, we'll fly you home, first class, hot towels, and the whole shebang. Why should I trust you? Because we're trying to stop him. And by the look of the inventory in that ship, so were you. Alien jawbones, thermal netting, predator armor, <laughs> and a bolt-action sniper rifle. Ballistic says it's been fired a lot. All right, Sergeant Mater. Cards on the table. We are a task force directed by the United States government to assess and respond to a very real alien threat. One that attacked first and continues to do so with impunity. How many have been on Earth? That's classified. More than one? Five? Ten? A hundred? Too many. You don't know. Well, I know you've killed one. Likely more. I know you commandeered an alien spacecraft and successfully piloted it back to Earth. <laughs> I'd like to know more. I'm also one of a select few on this planet who will believe you. We... Uh, I promise I will do everything I can to take what you tell me and use it against these monsters. Fine. Go ahead. Where were you? when you were abducted. I was on a mission. And what were you doing in the moments before your abduction? Hiding. Care to elaborate? No. <sighs> OK. Describe being abducted. During the course of the mission, I slept. When I woke up, I was falling, like in a nightmare. You fell asleep, and then you were falling. It was a parachute insertion, like a halo jump. By the time I realized what was happening, the chute opened on its own. I thought I'd wake up, but it didn't. It was real. From that elevation, could you recognize anything? No. There was only jungle. Sergeant Major Nissenbaum, in your estimation, during the time of your abduction, do you believe you were on Earth? No, I do not. 